Live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. You look at Orlando. They're way down there in the conference standings, looking for a lot of improvement during the second half of the season. And the starting group for the Spurs... Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. Ante Graham is out there with Devin Vassell. And it's Osman in at the three spot. And for the Magic, the post pairing Isaac and Carter Jr. Wagner is out there with Suggs. And it's Bancaro in at the small forward. Always exciting to see two teams with bright futures, Greg. Young stars hungry to prove themselves. And Kevin, the hungrier, the better, if you ask me. When you've got all that youthful energy and ambition out on the court, very special things can happen. And it's going to be San Antonio off the tip. When Benyama against Carter. Here's Osman. Pass to Wem Benyama. Here's Sohan. Five to shoot. Here's Vassell. No good on the triple. Now, here's Suggs. Wagner outside. And the rejection by Rembenyama. Isaac misses. And so Graham will bring it up for the Spurs. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. And with plenty of games still ahead, here's a quick rundown of the power rankings thus far. You take a look at the Thunder. They've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. And looking at Orlando, they just can't seem to find the mojo. They need to move up the rankings. They've tinkered with their lineup, but so far they just keep getting the same results. Now, here's Suggs after Jonathan Isaac's miss. 0 for 3 now in the early going, just a little bit out of sync. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Pass to Osman. And there's the pass to Sohan. Carter pulls it in. Look, that's in his range, but he had a defender right up in his chest. Van Carroll, right side. Rejection by Wembenyama. Vassell, the pass to Wembenyama. And that one drops for him. Coming into the league, scouts saw Vassell as a 3 and D guy, but he's a good playmaker also. Orlando, they've gone 0 4, missing their first four field goals here. Carter with a screen on Vassell. Wagner kicks to Carter. On the wing, Isaac. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Graham. And Carroll grabs the board. And not pretty. You've just got to shake off a miss like that. Here's Wagner. Count it. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. The Spurs have gone just one of four to get this game started. And Benyama outside. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Here's Ben Kim. Two points, that one goes. And you know, with the fire Ben Carroll plays with, he may not even have felt the contact. And so Graham will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They trailed by one. Last time they met was in San Antonio. 
Yeah, in that one, the shot selection wasn't terrible, but they had to tighten it up. It did not happen. They never really got into a rhythm despite trying a few different things. Sometimes it's just not your night. And here is Suggs. 17 points for him last game against the Heat in Miami. Yeah, Isaac, he just makes dunking look easy. It has an incredible reach and quickly gets up off the floor to throw that one down. San Antonio with the ball. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Graham with the ball. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Miami. And no one on defense could stay in front of him. He continually got pummeled and kept getting back to the strike. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Vassell. Here's a look at some of the stats for Victor Wembenyama. And in the last five games, he's made a bunch of hustle plays on the glass more than anywhere else. His rebounding totals in these games shows a dramatic increase from his numbers during the rest of the season. Connects from three-point range. And as we see Suggs develop his game, you, you'll see more of this Jalen with the ability to operate off-ball. Looking at the last game for Orlando, it was a loss to the Heat in Miami. Ren Benyama, a screen. Graham, the pass to Osman. Just five to shoot. Vassell wide open. A three-pointer is right on target. Big answer from Vassell. He's a competitor. He knows when they need to swing momentum. Now, Wagner. 14 points from him. The last game against the Heat in Miami. Bancaro a screen for Wagner. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. And with this break, let's bring up the list of the dominant rookie rebounders in the NBA this season. Victor Wembenyama, number one. Already in his first season, he's really a man in the paint. Ready, made, with the strength and determination to make his presence felt. Now here's Graham. Nothing on the board. Pass to Vassell. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jalen Suggs. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Magic making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. Passes it to Osman. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Pass to Sohan. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Last outing for San Antonio. It was a loss to the Heat. Yeah, I mean, on the road, tough environment. They were right there, but just missed some key shots. And you know, so often, that's what it comes down to. Who can convert when it matters most? The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. They get it back. Rembenyama gets the bucket. Rembenyama's got seven points. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. To the inside, and Kero. And the rejection by Wembenyama. The pass to Graham. The three ball. Good on the three-point shot. Likes to facilitate the basketball, but Devontae Graham can hit from long range. to the middle. Here's Ben Kim. Beautiful location on the pass as usual. Led his man perfectly. For San Antonio they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Graham the pass to Wembenyama. Pass to Sohan. From outside the arc. And his third shot of the night. No good. 0 for 3. Well, they're still young, but the Magic, Greg, are becoming one of those league pass teams. Like, like people want to watch them. Yeah, I mean, they've got some players. Leaving aside any rooting interest on my part, they've got some young fellas that are definitely intriguing to watch. In that type, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. 
Rembenyama down low. Defended by Carter. Carter against Wembenyama. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Carter's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And that one's good, Wagner. And the Magic lead by two. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And so Graham will bring it up with the Spurs. And there's the drive. Fires the three. And it's Osman missing. Orlando's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Isaac. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Craig, with back-to-back -back games part of the schedule, how do teams feel getting into the latter part of that combo, like tonight? Well, these games can be especially taxing mentally and physically. At this point, it's a war of attrition and really who can survive the night. First free throw is good. Well, the Spurs, Smitty, managed to end their 2023 season on a win, but last in the West, but with hope for the future. You're right, Kevin. Tied for worst record in their conference, but everyone knew that team was rebuilding, and bingo, they got the number one pick, Victor Wimanyama. Markel Fultz has checked in for Van Carroll. And the overall skill set that Isaac possesses really off the charts. A, a big man who can run the floor, but also with that wingspan can defend the rim. The basket counts and one. They'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Magic. Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point, doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And something else that I liked is how they attack the paint, finding ways to get inside and capitalize time and time again. Now here's Graham. Markel Fultz unable to get his last shot to go. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Fultz against Graham. Now, here's Fultz. He's guarded closely. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Collins, a screen on Anthony. Graham in the corner. Passes to Austin. No good from outside. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. It's Anthony with the drive. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. And San Antonio has possession. Here's Vassell. 17 points for him last game against Miami. And it's sent back by Isaac. Oh, how about the read from the young fella? Isaac is dependable at anticipating when to go for the block. The three from Anthony. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Anthony's got his second basket of the night. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. Here's Osman. He's defended by Wagner. Graham, the pass to Osman. Graham, a screen on Wagner. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Mo Wagner's checked in for Orlando. The Spurs also changing it up. Johnson, he's checked in for Osman. And Jones subbed in for Devontae Green. One shot.
Here's Wagner, one of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. Wagner with a screen for Wagner. Driving to the basket. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. I like the efficiency here. Three out of four shooting, just taking what the defense gives him. San Antonio trailing here. Pass to Vassell. The shot, no good. Nice defense from Wagner. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. And that one's good, Wagner. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Bolts against Jones. Collins a screen on Bolts. Here's Jones. The 17-footer goes down. That jumper is something pretty to watch. Jones has that move on repeat. Wagner against Johnson. And finished off by Wagner. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Fultz against Jones. The pass to Johnson. Collins a screen on Wagner. Johnson down low. He's defended by Wagner. Shot by Collins, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Fultz looking around. And Jones has it in the corner. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. I love when Jones looks for his shot like this. This is only going to make him better overall. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Magic. Carter with a screen on Johnson. This is his first trip to the line tonight. He misses the free throw. Van Carroll's checked in for Carter. And the second free throw, good. 52 seconds left in the first quarter. On the wing, Johnson shoots over Wagner. Shot by Johnson, no good. And already they've taken out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. The Magic have gone 2 of 4 at the free throw line. And how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. The Magic making a switch here. Harris has checked in, and both free throws good for Anthony. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Here's Jones. Rebounded by Anthony. Magic leading by four. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. To the paint. And that one's good, Wagner. Wagner's got six. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Rembenyama looking it over. Johnson for three. The shot, no good. And so it's Orlando with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here.
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. And that's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. Orlando leading by six. They've got Harris. Ben Carroll is out there with Mo Wagner. Then there's Cole Anthony. And it's Fultz in at the point. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Magic. And here's Harris from the arc. And again, it's the Magic from deep. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out step by step, valuing each possession. Wagner against Wembenyama. His fourth miss of the game. He's made three. Now, here's Ben Carroll. Defense right on him. Here's Anthony. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Here's Branham. He's covered by Ben Carroll. A shot by Johnson. No good. Orlando's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Victor Wembanyama has studied all the greats, and one in particular, Kobe Bryant. He says, I know all his stats and records, but mostly I admired his state of mind and his philosophy and his approach to the game. When I suffer, when I have a doubt, I wonder what Kobe would have done. And I know he would have done more, so I'm going back to it. Kevin? Thanks, David. And that one falls for Jones. And Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishes? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw. It's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down. And, and who wants to see that? And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And the Spurs with possession. Eight-point game. Here's Jones. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. Easy look for mid-range. He won't miss many of those. Lazy effort defensively. Fultz finds Van Carroll. The rebound by Victor Rembenyama. Down low, here's Collins. And finish off by Collins. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Now, here's Fultz. Still without a basket. Wagner outside. Bancaro outside. Wagner with a screen for Bancaro. Over Collins. Bancaro, that's good. And the Magic lead by six. And how about the footwork and body positioning of Bancaro makes him so tough to guard down low. Inside, here's Rembenyama. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Looking at the last game for Orlando, it was a loss to the Heat. Anthony with it. Now guarded by Wembenyama. And it's Wagner missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Branham can't get it to go. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Bancaro kicks to Fultz. Back to Bancaro. Wagner is free on Collins. Bancaro. San Antonio with the rebound. Rembenyama's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. 
Greg, here he is, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft, Paulo Bancaro. And the top pick because he's a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro has a tremendous feel for the game, great vision, passing it, and endless potential offensively. Here's Wembenyama. Paulo Bancaro making his last shot. Wembenyama, no good. And here's Van Carroll. They'll bring it up for the Magic. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Over in the corner, Fultz. A three-pointer off the mark. Spurs trail by six. Rembenyama passes to Johnson. Jones against Fultz. It's Wembenyama, top of the key. Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. Good on the bucket. Jones has got nine. For a point guard, Jones is a crafty scorer on his own. He can get it done by himself when he has to. Get there, get there. Pass to Ben Carroll. Anthony looking it over. Passes it to Fultz. Knock loose. It's stolen by Johnson. They break it out. Five on three. Kicks to Jones. Back to Johnson. Lock at six. Shoots from the high post. And he gets the bucket. And now just a two-point magic lead. And under control, Keldon Johnson looking sharp on that, Jay. Jones against Fultz. For three, Harris. The Magic again can't hit. Spurs have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Branham, good. Finding the most open guy. Good vision from Trey Jones out there. Orlando's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Fultz against Jones. Fultz kicks to Harris. Another miss by Orlando. Trying to get his man back for the last three. It helps to not make this personal. Well, Orlando shooting 47% pretty solid. Fultz with the ball. Jones covering Fultz, the pass to Van Carroll. Shot clock at six. The Magic need to get a shot off here. With three, Harris. Harris missing again. And here are the Spurs. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Feeds it to Collins. Rebounded by Anthony. Anthony's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Fultz. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Anthony's got his fourth assist in this one. And this is an area that you like to see Fultz work on. If he can develop a consistent mid-range jumper, it's over for the rest of the league. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Van Carroll. Wagner's checked in for Gary Harris. And Jalen Suggs is subbed in for Fultz. And the Spurs with possession here. They trail by one. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. Anthony against Vassell. Pass to Sohan. Again, the miss by the Spurs. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Anthony kicks to Sutton. Isaac passes to Carter. And here's what the schedule for Orlando looks like. On Saturday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Chicago Bulls.
Texas. And then on Tuesday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams they're going to be playing. But it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. Johnson, he's checked in for Collins. Both free throws good from Wagner. And so Graham will bring it up for San Antonio. It's a three-point game. Going inside. Johnson, wide open. He fires. No good with the triple. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Here's Anthony. And the layup falls. Anthony's got his third bucket of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Spurs trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. It's hauled in by the Magic. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Suggs kicks to Anthony. And Wagner has it in the corner. Here's Suggs. And it's off from three-point range. San Antonio's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Isaac against Johnson. Isaac misses. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Wagner against Graham. Now the pass to Sohan. Down low, here's Johnson, and the slam dunk by Johnson. From super close range, Johnson is a springy athlete. Magic leading by three. And here's Wagner. Nine points in the game so far. Suggs in the corner. Drills it from outside. Suggs has got his second bucket of the night. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. So it's the Spurs now. Graham surveying the floor. Pass to Osman. No good on the shot. Isaac with some nice deep. And then they continue to control the glass. Suggs kicks to Anthony. And stolen by Graham. And the Spurs pushing it up now over Suggs. Back to Graham. Passes it to Sohan. Launches a three. Nailed from three-point land. Sohan's got six. If Sohan is knocking down the deep ball, look out. It really opens up his offense. Orlando leading. Suggs with the ball. He has six. Carter sets the pick for Wagner. Good work there as it goes. He's got 11. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket? San Antonio's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jalen Suggs. And that'll be his third foul so far. Bancaro's checked in for the Magic. The Spurs also with the sub. Rem Benyama, he's checked in for Johnson. Here's Osman. He's covered by Bancaro. Pass to Vassell. It's stolen by Carter. Isaac kicks to Carter. To the paint. Here's Ben Kill. That's in there. Carter with the assist. And that's 12 points for Paolo Bancaro. 
Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. There's 126 left to play here in the second quarter. Graham finds Gwen Benyama. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. That's Orlando's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Suggs passes to Wagner. The pass to Carter. Suggs in the corner. Just five on the clock. And again, it's the magic from deep. And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. Pass to Osman. There's 47 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Kicks it to Graham. Pass to Wembenyama. Over Carter. Wembenyama gets the bucket. Wembenyama's got 11 points. I like this. I really do. He recognizes the mismatch, simply rises up, and fires. Pass to Suggs, and stolen by Graham. The finish. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's on Paolo Bancaro. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Fault, he's checked in for Suggs. One shot. And that one falls for Graham. You know Graham's game is all about a mix of pace and focus. He plays at a high tempo, but doesn't rush things. It's impressive. Fultz against Graham. Now Fultz. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Here's Wagner. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The Magic have shot 75% at the stripe. Six of eight. First one falls. And he can't hit the second. And so we conclude the first half. Magic lead by six. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 50. Thank you, Kevin, here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what do you think was the main issue during the first half? Uh, we did make shots. Thank you for that insightful analysis, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Good evening, everybody. Can you guess what we're starting the show with? Wow, you guys are good. Time for the power rankings. When I look at San Antonio, what you see is what you get. And we aren't seeing much from them. Yeah, they've got some nice pieces on their roster. But the lack of firepower to make any real noise, at least this year, it seems. All right, let's talk about the first half. A little bit of ground to make up for the San Antonio Spurs. You love to see them get more assertive offensively. They're not earning calls or really going at the defense, so they have no chance to do damage at the line. This from a man who knows something about doing damage at the line. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. So it's Orlando now. On the court right now for the Spurs. 
Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. Devin Vassell out there with Devontae Green. And it's Osman in at the small forward position. Now here is Carter. Hasn't made one yet. It's a shot you would think he would make. But he just doesn't make it all the time. Hey, Steve, when Zohan has the ball, he is, he is pedal to the metal in the full throttle. All gas and no break. Kevin, he's a one-track mind with the ball in his hands. Get to the bucket is his mindset, and he's just as aggressive on the defensive side. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Orlando Magic is rolling out with some long and rangy athletes. They've got some size and the foundations of an identity. One scout recently said, everyone talks about playing positionless basketball, but they're the only ones who have really said, what the heck, let's do it. Kevin? <laughs> They've got a type, don't they, David? Thank you. The Spurs shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. And the free throw, no good. Not his most comfortable spot on the floor, but Sohan works hard in the gym on his off days at the line. Now, here's Suggs. Here's Wagner. Rebounded by the Spurs. Sohan's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Osman. He's covered by Van Carroll. Osman kicks to Green. A sell against Wagner. Shot clock at five. Here's Osman. Off target from three-point range. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Isaac with the steal. And Isaac throws it down. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greggy lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Jonathan Isaac. Did what he could to draw the foul. Sohan knew the defense was tight and forced the contact. This is his third trip to the free throw line. 76% at the strike for him thus far this season. The first free throw is good. good on the second so he hits one of two and boy have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what kind of surprising it's such a tight game out to Carter here's Wagner rebound by Sohan Sohan's got rebound number five here tonight shaky start to the half going one for four still trying to find that groove now here's Graham Nine points in the game so far. There's the pass to Sohan. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Vassell. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Orlando leading by five. Let's go. And so the ball's out of bounds. Wagner touched it last. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Here's Vassell. Steady offensive output from him averaging more than 16 points a game. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. And Orlando making a change here. Anthony's checked in.
Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Pass to Osman. Vassell with it. He's defended by Wagner. Graham gets a wide open look. And the three ball is good. Graham's got 12 points in the game. Well, Devontae Graham can be so explosive. And this is proven to be a night where he just goes off. Bounce pass Anthony. Van Carroll with the ball. Now guarded by Wembenyama. Here's Isaac. Marries it from three-point range. Isaac's got five points now this quarter. And you just can't let Isaac get that much room to shoot it from deep. He's a very consistent three-point shooter with a fluid shooting form. And that's a foul. It's called on Cole Anthony. That is his first foul of the game. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Here's Vassell. He dishes it to Graham. Rembenyama, left side. Good on that shot. And with that, the Magic lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Graham. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard. Here are the team leaders in steals. You need to play heads up against these guys. Fifth on the list, the Magic. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket, and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. Wagner against Vassell. And Caro outside. Rebound, San Antonio. Osmond's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now here's Graham. He's got 14 to the inside. Rembenyama gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Good ball movement from Devontae Graham. Noticing the wide open teammate and getting it to him. To the middle. Here's Isaac. Rembenyama with the rebound. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. And when Benyama throws it down. Keeping his eyes open out there, Devin Fassell with the beautiful pass. And here is Anthony. Nine points in the game so far. Wagner outside. Bancaro, right side. Shot clock at five. Rebounded by the Spurs. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Graham finds Wembenyama. Count it. 17 points for Victor Wembenyama. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. The Magic trail by three. Wagner with it. 12 points for him. Anthony in the corner. Drops in the tray. Anthony's got 12 points in the game. Oh, that's a terrific pass by the big fella. Ben Carroll is adding that element to his game as his career progresses. Spins. Graham kicks to Vassell. Taken away by Anthony. Carter down low. Graham defending. And it's Carter missing. San Antonio's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Passes it to Sohan. Here's Graham. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. I mean, terrific work inside. Graham showing some fight in the process. Draws the D's attention. And this is his second trip to the line in the game.
And the first one drops. Markel Fultz has checked in for the match. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Collins has checked in. And Graham drops them both. And it's the Magic with the ball. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. And that's game two of this string of four games played at home. Wagner outside. Pass to Anthony. Shoots over Vassell. Again, the Magic score. Spurs have gone 6-9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Vassell, the pass to Graham. There's a screen by Collins. Graham finds Collins. And that one drops. Collins has got seven points in the game. With how dangerous Graham is scoring it, that opens things up for the screener. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Magic. Trailing by two. Wagner outside. No good. Shot missing. Collins with some nice D. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Three-pointer, Graham. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. And when you look at a player like Devin Vassell, his massive reach really stands out. G.A., a young man with a near seven-foot wingspan. Combine that with his quickness, Vassell has potential to be a really remarkable defender. And San Antonio has possession after Markel Fultz missed from long range. And it's sent back by Isaac. Wagner outside. Isaac outside. Misses the three. San Antonio leading by five. And that's a foul called on Franz Wagner. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And another thing they've been doing all game long is knocking down the three. Shooting has been a big part of their game plan tonight. That free throw missing. Mo Wagner's checked in for Wendell Carter. Johnson's checked in for the Spurs. And he sinks the second. Now Fultz. Outside, Anthony. Wagner a screen on Vassell. Anthony kicks to Wagner. The Magic again can't hit. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. The three from Johnson. Rebounded by Isaac. Isaac's got rebound number eight now on the night. Wagner with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Wagner passes to Isaac. Money from the wing. Ten points for Jonathan Isaac. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Here's San Antonio now. They're on a 16-7 run. Dishes it to Graham. Back to Vassell. Fires the three. That one doesn't go. Well, so far, his cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Anthony finds Wagner. Out to the right wing. Here's Fultz. Hits it from three-point range. Now just a one-point Spurs lead. And Fultz 
such a good shooter. The D can only do so much. I mean, I like the D, the O, just better. Here's Osman. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Here's Collins. Krills the baseline jumper. Collins has got nine. Continuing to stoke the fire. His shot making has been absolutely superb. Orlando's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Now the pass to Wagner. 149 left in the third quarter. Wagner kicks to Wagner. Six to shoot over Johnson. And it's Wagner missing. Well, he's put up zeros for an entire quarter. Not the way you try to get back into this ball game. Pass to Osman. The three from Johnson hangs home the trifecta. Now it's a six-point Spurs lead. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. The Magic shooting not looking uh, too good out there in the second half, right around 32%. Wagner with a screen for Anthony. Wagner left side. And a moment here to see the numbers for Fultz. He's averaging 10 points a game, 6 assists, and 2 rebounds. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. Bancaro's checked in for Orlando. Gary Harris comes in for Wagner. Both free throws good from Wagner. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Passes it to Collins. It's stolen by Van Carroll. Over in the corner, Fultz. Once again off the mark, Orlando. You like that he's still attacking. But the results tonight just haven't been there. Attack mode right there. He plays bigger than his size. Anthony against Jones. Out to Anthony. Shoots the three. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. I like that approach playing inside out, forcing the defense to scramble. And Benyama with it. Defended now by Wagner. Jones against Fultz. Out to Anthony for the lead. Headshot off. Three quarters of play in a close game here. It's San Antonio leading by just one. 2K Sports back in a moment from the Amway Center. A chance now to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team just moments ago. Stay aggressive. You need, you need about eight or nine of those. Just let them fly. I'm feeling maybe some of his guys are being too careful on shot selection, I think, guys. What, what do, how do you interpret Greg Popovich uh, maybe trying to loosen him up just a bit? I mean, you know, the intelligence and experience he brings to the game, it, he sees things just so clearly. Sometimes it, it's really just a simple adjustment. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Van Carroll out there with Gary Harris. Then it's Markel Fultz. Then there's Mo Wagner. And it's Anthony in at the two-guard spot. That's who's out there for Orlando. And that one falls for Jones. 
Boy, Steve, Trey Jones is a great story of continuing to work at your game. Yes, it is, Kevin. He's developing into a nice point guard who can run the show. The vision continues to get better, and points are coming in bunches. It's clear he's putting in the work. Well, I mean, a semi-productive trip to the free throw line, but we'll see whether or not it costs them. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. To the wing on the left. Rembenyama against Wagner. Rembenyama passes to Johnson. No good with the wing jumper. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And both free throws good for Anthony. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. Out of bounds. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. The Magic shooting reasonably well, 45%. Wagner outside, shoots it, and Jones pulls it down. Missed opportunity, wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. Johnson in the corner. Offline with his three. Orlando leading. Anthony down low, working on Jones. Here's Harris. Bankero gets to Fultz. From the arc. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Here's Wimbenyama. That one rolling around and runs out. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Fultz the pass to Ben Carroll. Wagner as green on Collins. The three from Anthony. Rebounded by the Spurs. Rem Benyama has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Johnson against Harris. Johnson surveying the floor. Shot clock at six. And he's finally able to knock one down. Johnson's got the game tied up here for the Spurs. Here's Fultz. And Caro outside. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him to ease up off the threes. Great ball movement there by Keldon, making the smart play. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And Orlando making a change here. Carter's checked in. And San Antonio also making a switch. Sohan's checked in. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley was saying to the team. Now, Coach talked all about fouls in that huddle. He reminded them, play defense with our feet. Beat them to the spots. Hands straight up. Don't give them a chance to blow the whistle on us. Back to you, guys. Thank you, David. Now, here's Fultz. Looking to end his cold spell. 
fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And the energy of Fultz, impressive. It has an ability to nail difficult shots over an aggressive defense. One shot. That free throw good from Fultz. And the length and speed of Fultz makes him deadly. Excellent at shooting the ball and a super aggressive defender. Now here's Jones and here's Johnson outside. Carter pulls it in. Now here's Fultz to the inside. It's stolen by Johnson. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Magic. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And another thing, they continue to work it inside and score. It's clear their game plan is attacking the paint as much as possible. And that one falls for Jones. Shooting from the line has been one of the most consistent attributes of Trey Jones since entering the league. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for San Antonio. Jones looking for an opening. Pass to Sohan. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his third assist on the night. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And here is Anthony. Fultz with the ball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Keldon Johnson. That's his first foul. And still early in the period. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Fultz against Jones. On the wing, Harris. Five to shoot over Johnson. The Magic again can't hit. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Ren Benyama, no good. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Jones against Fultz. The Magic again can't hit. San Antonio leading by three. Ren Benyama passes to Jones. Back to Ren Benyama. Second chance effort. He lays it in. Rem Benyama has got 19 points. They are just killing him on the interior. Now Fultz. And Caro outside. In the corner, it's Harris. Beyond the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And for his position, Barcaro, great vision and willingness to make the extra pass. Here's Branham. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Left side, Harris. Anthony in the corner. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Anthony's got 13 points in the second half. Talking about heating up. At halftime, he had just one made from beyond the arc, but he's drained three more since. San Antonio's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. For the match, Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for Gary Harris. Franz Wagner comes in for Anthony, and it sugs in for Fultz.
Osman, the pass to Sohan. Tries the spin move. Vassell kicks to Osman. He's looking for Wembenyama and finds him. Lock at six. Nice follow through on the fadeaway. Wembenyama has got 21. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Now, here's Wagner. Here's Bancaro. Rebounded by the Spurs. Sohan's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Out to the right wing. A three from Wembenyama. Buries the long-range jumper. Now it's a four-point Spurs lead. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Wagner passes to Ben Carroll. Rebound San Antonio. Now here's Graham. Osman, the pass to Wembenyama. Here's Sohan. He's covered by Bancaro. Great defense that time from Bancaro. The Magic trail by four. The pass to Isaac. Pass to Bancaro. Suggs in the corner. And now Wembenyama pushing it up, but no one back to stop him. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. And Wagner's got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. And Caro outside. Another miss by Orlando. Spurs leading by six. And here is Graham. Passes it to Sohan. And it's sent back by Isaac. Let's it go from deep. And it's Sohan missing. Orlando's got a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Here's Sutton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And you know, Jalen Suggs has had to deal with some huge expectations. But he's got a great attitude and always works hard to live up to it. He hits the second from the line. And this is one of the things they need to keep doing in the second half to get this win. Keep knocking down those free throws. They've been sensational here at the line. Carter against Wembenyama. Pass to Vassell. Back to Wembenyama. He goes up again. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Bancaro. And it's in there. 16 points for Paolo Bancaro. And Bancaro muscling through all that contact. San Antonio leading by three. And Benyama outside. And the pass to Vassell. Count the basket. Devin rises to the challenge of the big moment and scores it. Here's Suggs. And Caro outside. Carter sets the pick for Ben Carroll. Wagner on the wing. Off target from outside. 
coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong. Yet, the opposite happened. Now here's Graham. G right on him. Bucket is good. Devontae Graham is a very flexible shooter. He can score from anywhere, including the mid-range. Bancaro kicks to Carter. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Graham, the pass to Vassell. Here's Wembenyama. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Magic trail by seven. Suggs with the ball. He kicks to Van Carroll. And Wagner has it in the corner. Sinks the triple. What a time for him to step up. Big three right there. That's what you have to do. Clutch shots, clutch shooters. They come through in those positions. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. Oh, my goodness. He's kicking himself. You know, that's a critical time to commit a turnover. No telling how that error will ultimately play out. One forty-one left in the game. Pass to Suggs. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Takes it inside. And Wembenyama throws it down. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a facial. Oh, bounce to the ounce, Greg, yeah, showing off the bunnies. Now, Van Carroll. Carter up top. Back to Van Carroll. Orlando moving the ball. And it's Wagner missing. Okay, when you're trying to make a comeback, you can't be hucking up low percentage threes. You have to find a better shot within the offense. Miss opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Here's Shaw. Off target with his three. San Antonio's gone a disappointing two or six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. And Benyama passes to Vassell. And now they decide to foul intentionally. defense Orlando and an intentional foul right there free throw is good and that makes it a seven point lead and he is unable to get the second one and I'm sure he would like to have had all of those but he's still able to pad the lead and that one's good Wagner yeah and right when you thought that shot was leaving his hands he reinvents it Thirty-five seconds left here in the fourth quarter, and now we've got the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Adding a little cushion to their advantage. Nice work at the line. Out to Carter from past the arc. Ben Benyama with the rebound. And here's Wen Benyama. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. Great player movement, great ball movement. That's fun to watch. And it's the Magic's ball. Here's Ben Carroll. Hits the three-point bomb. Stepping up in the clutch. Ben Carroll coming up and delivering the goods for his team. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jalen Suggs. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, tough break for him there. But they'd have a tough time coming back from this deficit no matter who's on the floor. Yeah, and, and luckily they, they've got terrific depth 
at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They trail by eight. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. I just think they have to focus on the moment. Don't worry about the score. Worry about executing the next play. And here's Anthony for three. Frames it from downtown. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Interesting approach coming down the stretch. Looking to rack up points in chunks. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. Not his strength, but Devin Fassell is putting in work. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're trailing by seven. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What do you think, guys? Licking their wounds. It hasn't come together for them tonight. They are left picking up the remains of their game plan. Better luck next time. Wagner from long range. He can't get that one to fall. And so it's the Spurs with the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Devonta, you led things tonight offensively. What was working out there? Uh, just coming off being aggressive, trying to read the defense, uh, making the right plays, getting the ball out of my hands early if they was trapping and trusting my teammates and our down shots. Well, they trusted you as well, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Victor Wembenyama.